Right to Life presents. You won't believe what this sick mangy cat turned into when they took him. Today it is hard to imagine that this luxurious cat of aristocratic appearance was once a half-blind tramp on the streets of Florida. The color of his coat is so flawlessly white that the nickname Cotton, translated as Cotton, suits him just perfectly. But just recently, he looked like in these horrifying photos, dirty, with ticks and lichen. Because of the parasites, there was even a real threat of imminent blindness for the unfortunate poor fellow. But cat gods must exist somewhere. They took pity on the cat, sending good-natured Carmen Weinberg along the way. By pure chance, it turned out that Carmen is also a volunteer for the Animal Relief Project, so she took Cotton seriously. According to the woman, the cat's condition caused trembling, it was literally eaten by ticks. It must be that the cat himself no longer believed in a miracle, because by that time he had seen almost nothing. In addition, the animal was exhausted, and it was extremely difficult for him to get food almost with complete blindness. Carmen suggests that the appearance of a stray cat scared away anyone who could help the animal. And so the American took on the health and nutrition of Cotton. She fed the poor man heartily to restore his strength, lubricated his wounds with coconut oil and creams, and treated them with antibiotics. The miracle was not long in coming, the cat finally opened its eyes. The exhausted body stopped itching and shuddering from pain and itching. Yes, it was a miracle, because even the veterinarian believed that Cotton had lost the ability to see forever. And even more surprising was the fact that Cotton's eyes were of different colors. One resembled the heavenly surface, and the other dark amber. With the acquisition of sight, the activity of the cat also intensified, to the delight of all those who followed his transformation. The snow-white handsome man won many hearts. Many were not averse to taking the recovered cotton to their place. But then Carmen herself could not part with the ward. The woman realized that over the months of fighting for cotton's health, they had become each other's native creatures. Carmen openly declares today that the case of vagrancy in such a terrible condition of cotton is very characteristic of the south coast of Florida. There are a lot of people living in this part of the state, but not all of them are responsible pet owners. Carmen started her Animal Friends project as a result of coming face to face with this problem. And Carmen is very sad that so few people come to the aid of our smaller friends. She herself volunteers to work for the benefit of the mustachioed striped ones, feeling the support and help of her family and volunteers. The woman appeals to all those who are not indifferent, so that they do not pass by stray cats. Carmen calls to use the fundraising method, raising funds to pay for medical care for found animals. The American assigns an important role to social networks that are able to spread information about a particular animal in trouble at lightning speed. Put likes, write comments and subscribe to the channel, together we will make the world a little better.